I'm wrestling. Ooh. Wait, wait. Oh. This again. The crack will pop. Oh my god, you gotta move there, Faith. Okay, if she wins, you gotta sit over there. And if you win. You get to sit here. If you win, you sit here. Yeah. No, I don't see this. Wait, no. If, if she wins, you sit You sit where I am. Okay. And then if you win, she sits there. Or Michael is. That's exactly what she said. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, well, let's do it. Are you a coward? Are you a coward? No, I don't. Uh uh. Are you a man or a mouse? A mouse? She's a female. Yeah. <laughs> Man, see, Michael, you, ins you inspire people to run with See, you're the strong They're gonna do it. Really? You're not gonna get involved? Alright, then if she wins, then it's like, it's she's taking your spot. Dumb wrestle, let's do this, man. Dumb wrestle? That's dangerous. That's dangerous. See? And then I put, wait, 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 let me record this, let me record this real quick. I'm serious. <laughs> what? Yes. You guys are sound wrestling? Yes. Let's go again, second round, left arm. Left arm. Oh, rolls up her sleeves. Oh no. So that means... This is gonna break my arm. She already lost. What? Why are we? Why are you using left hand? Strong? You, you're strong? I Oh. Well, Michael, I'm wrestling her then. Guarantee yeah, she would be. No, do it. Wait, really? No. Do it. I'm gonna break my heart. I'm just gonna break it. The battle of the glasses. Battle of the sexes. <laughs> sexes. What do you mean? <laughs> Michael. <laughs> That's not even. You didn't even try. Hey, you, if you miss, if you miss wait, sorry, you're class, gonna stay here, Faith. You would not have. You would not have the the handout that says on the first page, chapter 18, interstellar medium. Today, we're going to answer, we're going to answer the questions on the next page. We will briefly gather. Do the definitions on the following page, and we will leave the last page until our review day on Tuesday. Before that, though, we've had a few neat things happen in astronomy. Actually, we'll come back to today's astronomy picture of the day. It's a good. It'll be a good place to start with the formation of stars. Uh, let's see. This is. This is Friday. We must be over here. Yep. Tuesday. Tuesday, you will come in. We will finish the last page of the handout. The same material as today in a different, in a different, hopefully more organized and quicker format. Then we'll look through the study guide, and we will watch, we'll watch a video on the formation of stars. Bless you. I know what they did. Why? This. This is, we now have the tool, the HR diagram, to describe stars and talk about stars. Now it's time to start at the birth of stars, at nebula, and follow stars until they die. Today, and for the test on Thursday, we're going to limit ourselves to the birth of stars through the main sequence. The beautiful thing about that is every single star in the universe follows exactly the same exactly the same sequence of events from being from starting with the nebula and ending on the main sequence. After they run out of fuel in the core and leave the main sequence, then they split off into several different branches and they die several different ways. We'll start off with it where they have it all in common. You know, if the Jet Propulsion Labs wants to start their news with spooky action in the distance, we might as well. This one, one of the reasons that, I, that Albert Einstein always rejected quantum mechanics and basically most of 20th century physics was implicit in the laws of quantum mechanics is something called quantum entanglement. It works sort of like this. You create Let's go with their let's go with their particles, two photons. Now you treat them together, so they're they are what's called entangled, or they they 
share, they initially, sh they're created together so they share some overlap in properties. Now, you then take one photon and send it this way, the other photon and send it this way, maybe hundreds of miles apart, and then the person in the first lab measures the state of that first photon. Now, quantum mechanics tells us it could be in a vast number of possible different states. But you measure it and you see, oh, okay, this, this photon is in, a, is in this state, bless you. When you measure the other photon, the other photon will be in a complementary state to what you measured on the first one. Oh, well, sure, they must have started out that way. Except you can, <coughs> yeah. you can apply, there's a way to measure the first photon so that you can make it come out, well, let's try a simple state. It can be spinning up or spinning down. You don't know beforehand whether it's spinning up or spinning down. There is a way to measure the first photon so that you can ensure that you will measure it spinning up. When the second person measures the other photon hundreds of miles away, it will be spinning down. If the first person has measured the photon so that it was spinning down, this photon would be spinning up. The results of what you measure hundreds of miles away at the exact same instant are determined by what you measure in the other laboratory. In theory, no matter how far you separate these particles, when you measure one, it determines the state of the other. Why? How? Einstein, this is what Einstein called school deactivated. decades after Einstein started arguing about this, we were actually able to try it. It works. This is the way you can entangle subatomic particles and show this effect. It's, it's weird. It makes the head hurt. I know I haven't explained it very well because that's as well as I've been able to understand it. From several years of reading about it, pretty much comes down to a really clear description of quantum entanglement requires, well, math beyond what any of us are ready to deal with. Words, words don't quite do it justice. But the basic principle, spooky action the distance, yeah, that's our universe. Einstein always looked for an alternative, but he never found one. Uh, let's see. Yes. It's a space flight. Surely they were going to have the. Um, <coughs> because I don't know, I was recording the other one. Because Virgin Galactic, the tourist space agency, what? their spaceport is over in Mexico. The pictures of it, it looks like <sighs> science fiction to It looks like something you see out of Star Wars, except cooler. Their spaceport is really nifty. Because they want to run tourists. They, they had an accident about a year and a half ago. And the, the spaceship team, the carries up to high end of the stratosphere, and the 